So today I'm going to show you how to use SEMrush for keyword research by going through an example with you. And in this example, we're going to pretend as though we are uh, the owner of a plumbing company in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> and let's say we want to get our website ranked and generate some traffic and get some business coming in. So we go to SEMrush. Well, first of all, you'll need to set up an account so you can click the link below and get a free seven-day trial. But once you get your account set up, then you can just come to the search bar up here, put put the keyword in, the keyword that you want to go after. In this case, we're going to put Phoenix Plumbers. That's pretty much the synopsis of what people are going to be searching for. And then when we click search, we'll see it takes us automatically to the keyword overview here. And it's going to tell us the keyword volume here in the United States, um, as well as the keyword difficulty. So it's saying it's possible, which makes sense. I mean, there's plenty of plumbers that are ranking already. Uh, and if this were on like a national scale, if we were like, you know, trying to go up against um, Rotor Rooter, I think is one of the big ones, then it would probably be, you know, if we just said plumbers instead of Phoenix plumbers, the keyword difficulty would be much higher. But because this is a local oriented term, it looks like it's going to be possible to rank for this according to SEMrush. Um, it's also going to give us the intent. So this is important when you're doing keyword research. Uh, you really want to find out what the person's trying to accomplish when they're doing this search. And if someone's searching for Phoenix plumbers, they're looking for a brand or service, right? And so if you can put your brand or service in front of them right at that moment, there's a high chance that they're going to want to work with you. And there's some other information here as we come along. We've got the search results, so how many actual website listings are in the search results, as well as the SERP features. And this is a really cool tool. So you can see that there are reviews showing up. There's site links, FAQs, videos images and ads so if we wanted to go after this term we could actually target this term in a number of different ways we could try to rank a video uh, it looks like there's thumbnails with video or uh, videos with thumbnails that are showing up uh, we could try to get an image to show up we could run some ads get in the faqs get our website ranked um, and there's even websites that have their star rating showing up so if we wanted to show up for this term, it looks like we could get into the get onto the first page of Google in a number of different ways for one. And then also we can see the trend. So we'll be able to tell when are most people looking for plumbers, which is helpful, um, as well as the ads information. So it looks like there's four people running ads. It's really high competition. So this is out of one. So 99 out of 100 basically and the cost per click is pretty high so $38 per click if you wanted to to use Google Ads to just uh, run some ads and get clicks on this term it's gonna cost you almost $40 a click so it'd be much better to rank for this organically that's for sure <laughs> uh, as you come down here it's gonna show you some keyword variations 145 in total if you click this it'll just open up Pretty much anything in blue if you click it it'll open stuff up so we can look at these ads if we want we can look more in depth at individual keywords we can open up these related keywords and see what other terms I think this is maybe one of the most beneficial uh, variations and related terms questions to like different questions people are asking that are related to this term can be helpful but if we come over here to the related terms we'll be able to see all sorts of variations of terms that people are using. And I typically like to sort this by search volume. So you can just click on the volume here. It's going to search by search volume. It's going to rank them by search volume. So it looks like this is a competitor, Benjamin Franklin Plumbing, potentially. Um, but plumbing services near me, or plumbing service near me, emergency plumbers local plumbing, Phoenix plumbing. So it looks like Phoenix plumbing might actually be the main keyword, not Phoenix plumbers, which is helpful information to know. 
Uh, so in this niche, it's Phoenix Plumbing that gets 1,900 searches a month versus Phoenix Plumbers, which only gets 880 searches a month. So all of this stuff is super helpful to know if you're, for one, trying to rank organically or two, trying to run some ads. But essentially, if you're using Google or search engines in general to get traffic, leads, sales, any of that, uh, this information is crucial. If you try to approach it without knowing what you're doing with, you know, what keywords you're going after and that going after those keywords is going to lead to the right result, then you're going to just end up spinning your wheels. And then as we come down, it's even going to show us the top ranked results on Google for this term. It keeps <laughs> wanting to pop stuff up here. Um, so this term, Phoenix Plumbers, that gets 880 searches a month. These are the top ranked sites, Parker and Sons, Angie, Yelp. So it looks like this is going to be the top competitor. So we can actually go and pull their site up. It looks like it's this plumbing page that's the top ranked page. So you can just put it in here, put it in the search bar. I put the actual page in the search bar. Click search. And then you can switch between the root domain so we can see their entire website. They get almost 20,000 search visitors per month to their website. That's just from Google. And if we want, we can switch over to the subfolder, which is basically anyone who's coming to this page, plumbing. So I guess this company does more than just plumbing. They probably do HVAC and other stuff and maybe even roofing, I'm not sure. So if we want to just look at what they have going on with their plumbing page, you can see that one page is bringing them 2,000 visitors per month in organic search traffic, which is insane. <laughs> so, and that's the number one ranked page here, right? So you'd be pretty confident that if we could build something better than this and get ranked here, it's going to generate a considerable amount of free traffic, like 2,000 visitors a month. And of course, it's mostly going to be coming from the United States. It might be beneficial to see other country information here, but you know, Phoenix is a is a city in Arizona in the United States. So um, there's tons of information. You can just almost keep diving deeper and deeper and deeper. You can click on a keyword, see what's going on, then open up the top ranked page. So you can even see what other keywords they're ranking for. So we can see with this URL here on this page that we're trying to beat out what other keywords are they showing up for with that one page that's leading them to get that 2,000 visitors per month to their website and it's Phoenix Blummers surprise surprise uh, that was the the term that we thought was or that we saw was going to be the most searched term uh, Phoenix Plumber Phoenix Plumbing so they're getting uh, getting a lot from this page. And the position is basically number one for all of these terms. The traffic cost here, if you were to pay for all the traffic that they get organically from this page, it would cost about $66,000 a month. <laughs> Pretty crazy uh, what's possible with SEO. But if you wanted to see what other people are doing with the ads, you can look at the different ads people are running. These are um, like shopping ads, product listing ads. So there's no products being sold for plumbing here uh, for this term, at least. If we search like um, plum, plumbing fittings, then there'd probably be all sorts of product listings. Uh, but then we can also see the ad history. So more ads people are running, typically uh, the more people are making from the ads and the more competition there's going to be. But it looks like there's probably a couple of big hitters that are just spending a ton of money on the ads in this niche, being that it's a $40 cost per click. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything you had questions about in terms of digging into the keywords, keyword research through SEM, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore... <laughs> <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you. Or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. 
here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.